everyone welcome back to another counter side video today we're going to be featuring my free to play account after 21 days or after three weeks let's see what i have for you guys and more or less if those um, no i I've, I've had questions regarding free to play um what units to start with um how to do things and more or less at three weeks this is if you if you you know play your cards right you'll be actually luckier than i am so let's take a look at my units first okay so as you can see here these are my units most of them are you know i have around six oh no seven who are at level 100 already and um it's been a rough time um leveling them up because you most of your time you need to level them up during battles and um, resources are actually very scarce in terms of leveling them up so again i only have seven what's new with this account so there are two units that are actually i'm proud of and very lucky to get first is the administration sword uh, fighter which actually i got through um where did i get it through through our free one pull every day so if if you notice that we have a a free pull every day um and i got her there both of them <laughs> so again i was kind of lucky there um after that i was actually during the time i was pulling uh, that i pulled for the administration sword fighter i was actually pulling for Ainz and zue so both of them actually I got from their banner, but it took me a while because I had to pity this banner. <laughs> Imagine that free to play and I had to pity it because I need them because I'm not sure when I'm going to get another you know chance at their banner. So I was able to get a lot of um, recruitment, uh, what do you call this? Recruitment contracts um, in uh, counter case. So more or less, you know i had to squeeze everything out including quartz just to pity this banner for eins and zue so those are my most notable add-ons um also i'm trying to level up um administration rifleman because to be honest guys i actually lack rangers so let's filter through my stuff here and if you can see here the rangers that i have are kind of good because you have Kyle Wong, you have Elizabeth, you have Zhu Xiyun. But um, the core for me would be Gayun, would be um, Rosaria. Um, those two, I don't have them. I'm also missing even Shinja. So at this point, I am really missing a lot of key rangers, especially because right now we have a lot of uh, awakened defenders like uh, Hilde and uh, Nayubin. So I really need a lot of firepower in terms of rangers. So for the meantime, I'll, I'm actually stuck with them. I'm trying to level up um, again, as, as I mentioned, the admin uh, riflemen because um, they're cheap and they're very good. So that is my, you know, those they are my pet projects now and more or less what I'm looking for. Down the line, what I see in terms of banner would be Rosaria, would be near nearest that would pop out. So more or less, I'm going to pull for that banner. Um, hopefully, Gaon will come, you know, around the corner. Hopefully, another rerun for Gaon because, again, I really need Gaon in this account. Okay, so what is actually slowing me down as well? Let's uh, take back this filter. Okay, guys, so what is actually missing and that I'm, you know, um, I'm farming for is is going to be prime uh, training data. I actually lack this and um, the basic one I also lack, but most it, most uh, that, it, that is missing in this account is going to be prime training data. And also for your limit breaks, I don't have enough. If you can see, um, if you can see here with the, with the other units, um, let's go to Anson's way. So I really lack um, counter ATP cores. It's really a grind, and uh, I'm already crafting them in terms of um, just uh, converting from other currencies. 
So I'm I'm actually crafting from this from from mechs or from soldiers going to counters, and it's not really productive because again, if I'm won't going to use them in the future, then I'm going to farm for them again. So that is my problem right now. But it's going to be slowly but surely, guys. After three weeks, I'm actually happy with the uh, with what I have. So again, as you can see here, I'm happy with my lineup so far. I don't have any awakened units thus far. The next that's that's going to be projected is going to be Seo Yun, which I hope I'm going to get because um again I'll need I'll be needing a ranger, so she's a ranger, so she'll probably be the best ranger that I'll ever have if I get her. So I'm praying that I could get her by that time. And also for my gear, I'm already, um, let's say for Kylo Walk, I'm already kind of upgrading my gear from either 4, tier 4, tier 5, and tier 6 gear. Um, because um, I'm already farming certain stages where I can, mo um, certain molds so that I can craft and the tier 4 gear. So again, I'm trying to take out my tier 3 gear already. And... Uh, as for the summons, guys, as of the moment, I'm not any more summoning for any banner. I'm actually just waiting for for CEO to, to to come to come by in her banner, and also I'm waiting for Rosaria's banner. So those are the banners that I'm I'm looking forward to to augment my lineup. So in terms of my ships, guys, let's take a look at my ships. Um, for my ship, basically, I still have Glipnir. I'm actually having trouble uh, farming for material for um, Lake Superior. Um, if I'm going to go with Lake Superior, which most probably is the scenario. Um, let me go to HQ first. So, ship construction. So, I have a lot of options, but... Most likely, um, the one that's going to benefit me more would be Lake Superior. So, I lack these materials. So, special special ship schematics. That is the one that I'm lacking. I'm lacking 26 pieces for this one. So, more or less, it's going to be a done deal. Unless you guys have any suggestions for me, you put, may put them down in the comments section below. So that, you know, I might may choose another ship. So I have other choices here, including New Ohio, your uh, armor type, Kamizumi. I'm actually veering away from Kamizumi. Um, so that's it. Th these three are more or less my options at this point. So again, put down in the comment section below which one should I get. Next for operators, I actually have an interesting operator. It's actually the most recommended for beginners so actually i got lena mckenzie so it's a simple buff to so add attack attack speed plus eight to all allies for 12 seconds so again i i opted for her instead of um, instead of uh sigma because sh for me i think for a beginner for a beginner account with which doesn't have that variety this one is very all around so i'd rather go with her at this point okay in terms of the event, I'm actually farming this event um, right now. I'm farming this together with supply operation, either or, depending on what I need. If I need more materials for gear, I would usually farm here, the 1-4 in milita military supply acquisition. So this is where I would go. Um, this is where I would spend time in farming for better gear at this point. Um... Also, for side story, um, I'm already here at SWAT 4. I haven't opened this yet. I'm actually, it's okay with me because I'd like to farm Kang So Yung first. I actually need her more than Maria at this point. And um, for simulation, I'm already, I've already unlocked um, up until level 90. So again, I'm, I'm farming those every day. All three of them are actually at level 90 already. Then as we go to the world map, so for world map, I actually have three bases already. I'm I'm doing great actually with in terms of um, 
the basis that I have. So I have <laughs> I have two things to to do today. And also for Danger Close, Danger Close, I've been struggling a bit because I don't have I don't have the right pieces sometimes to clear the boss. So this one I will be struggling. I'm sure. So I'm at top 88 percent. So it's very low. So. It's okay, guys. Uh, eventually, I will be able to climb this content. I'm actually just... Uh, I'm not sure if I completed it. I, I don't remember. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. And also for Dive, I'm already um, at 35. So this runs up to 45. But the problem is the third ship or the third uh, um, squad that I have isn't that good yet. So if you can see, sorry, um, squad, yeah, I'm here. So for the third squad, it's not really that good. It's just a band of misfits that I've uh, put uh, together. Squads one and two are pretty much okay. Some of some some I'm I'm still leveling up, and uh, this squad standing by is actually kind of okay. Third squad is not okay. Again, I've been struggling on leveling up and uh, developing or training skills for my units thus far. But again, what do you expect? It's free to play and um, and it's only been three weeks or 21 days. So I'm actually, again, I'm happy with my progression so far. And lastly, for Gauntlet, um, for strategy battle... I'm not really struggling here. Um, this has been good for me. Um, I've been able to choose the, the right matchup for me. So my, I'm at Platinum 2. But my my only gripe actually is with uh, rank battles. Because it's really funny that I I seem to find a lot of, um, of players in bronze. Take note, in bronze that have a lot of awakened units. But they're still in bronze. I'm not sure why. It's not really expected that they're that they that, that they're still here. They should be probably in silver or in gold, you know, at least or vying for platinum. I'm I'm not sure why they're still here. So that is actually my problem because once I most of the time if I run into awakened units, um, let's say I have a 66% chance that I'll lose that game. 33% is more on if um, I can, you know, deploy the right kind of unit for that awakened unit to take it out. But again, it's a bit tricky and I, it's actually a mystery why I keep on encountering a lot of awakened units even in bronze. So if you guys have an idea why that's happening, you know, be my guest, put your comments down below. So that is it, guys. Well... What can I say? At 21 days or at three weeks, I'm happy with that with my progression. Um, I'm just actually banking on a little bit more luck and progressing forward, hopefully in summons. Because again, if I don't summon the units, at least a copy, um, sometimes it's really, really hard to progress, especially in PvP. And also in content. Some of the content need a specific hero to clear or at least have a high score. So again, um, I hope um, I would have better units to show you probably a week from now. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, for those of you who have uh, stuck this far, please consider subscribing. Click that bell icon and also put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.